Starting today, Governor Ron DeSantis's $5,000 fines are in effect for businesses, schools, government agencies, anyone requiring so-called vaccine passports. But as Mike Vassalinda shows us, a looming federal rule could end those fines. Any business or government in Florida that requires proof of vaccine to enter now faces a $5,000 fine for each person they ask. Florida restaurants say that's the last thing they want to do. Asking a hostess at the hostess desk to start asking the customer when they're coming in to have dinner to see their private medical information. And that is where we don't feel that it's appropriate. Representative Anna Escamani was one of 36 no votes in the House. She worries tourism won't fully rebound unless people feel safe. Having vaccine requirements around some of these more luxury experiences, if you will, can help ensure that the events actually happen. As written, the legislation allows a fine of up to $5,000, but in its new rule, the Department of Health sets it at the maximum. Restaurants are also concerned by a coming federal rule requiring employers of 100 or more to require vaccines or negative tests. The problem for restaurants is they're already short-staffed. Members of ours that are really panicking over this because they might have maybe 110 employees, but they have more than 10 employees telling them if we have to do that, we're not coming to work. The legislation also prohibits a vaccine from being required to enter a public building. Leon County and several local governments are requiring their employees to be vaccinated by October 1st, and the governor is threatening fines. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Massalinda, Channel 4, the local station. Any business find will have the right to an administration appeal. It's unclear, though, whether the Department of Health will set up a tip line for complaints. A request for information has not been answered.